Hello and welcome to Termite Talk. I'm here with Alan Ferguson from Concord Termite Northside. Good Thanks John. for your time today, Alan. Absolute pleasure. Now, we're you. talking about termites and walls today. It's a great topic and, you know, mm. it's not as though they spend much time there, is it all? Uh, well, interestingly, we find termites in walls fairly regularly. John. Oh, it's a surprise to me. Yes, yeah, In a sort indeed. of jovial sort of way. Well, yes. <laughs> Surprise, surprise. Um, you know, uh, often, often external walls of, of homes, uh, mm -hmm. you know, there's potentially an entry point somewhere there and they've managed to get in and get inside the wall. Mm. Uh, they'll have a go at the skirting boards, they'll have a go at the window and door surrounds. Um, and at various times they'll get into the structural timbers or fill up the void that's, that's in the wall. Yes. You know, um, with a, a, a subnest or a bivouac. Mm. Uh, so they... Yeah. Yeah, but they'll come in, you know, typically through the floor or some sort of up through the structure type thing. But yep. is there some sort of reason that you think behind that they're, they're heading upwards? Or is it just oh, that they come yep. from the trees? They like getting... Well, too much, you know, have evolved in Australian trees. And when you think about it, some species uh, particularly we find, you know, we'll, we'll scope a tree out. So they'll get into a house and they think your house is a tree. And they'll go right to the top to find out just how big it is. Is it worth their while to uh, to be spending their time here? Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, how about what be, might be some of the signs that you've got termites in your walls? I know in previous videos we talked about like people hear them from the case of yeah. time to time, but it's more likely that some piece of weak timber gives way. Yeah, I mean, you know, you you you, uh, you do uh, you can hear them from time to time. You can find a rippling in the timber or in the wall itself. Uh, there's sort of a deformation of the wall itself. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes they, particularly in corners, they'll pop out and there'll be mud appear um, in the corner of your wall. And that's the beginning usually, or part of, one of those bivouacs, which is a sort of a halfway house. Mm, okay. Yeah. Um, it, occasionally we find them, uh, for example, um, you, you, you look at a, 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 a GPO, a PowerPoint, and the, the three holes in there, we've stumbled upon them at times where they've actually those three holes that you plug your plug into were full of mud. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Not um, used for some time, but... Uh, no, wouldn't work terribly well, uh, you know. Well that bit of footage that. you've brought in for, st for um, us today as well, is that, yeah. that power switch we... Yeah, yeah the we'll light show switch. that to you about now. Yeah, yeah the so light switch. walk us through that. Um, a gentleman had some, uh, some trouble, he was getting electric shocks from a, a switch and um, what was really happening, termites had actually built a bivouac behind that and it was all full of moisture and mud and it oh. was it was causing him to get little tingles as he touched the uh, the lights which okay. open that up and it's quite extraordinary the uh, yeah okay so obviously around that sort of thing there's obviously some fire hazards associated with termites in, in number in that sort of behavior as well potentially mm. potentially absolutely yeah so you know you just do need to be careful life is inherently dangerous John yeah, particularly when you've got termites in the wall by the sound of it, Alan. My word. My now, word. how do people get hold of Concord Termites Northside? Uh, you can, of course, uh, Google us and, and uh, come to the website, but if you wish, simplest way is to call us on 3356 8801. Okay, fabulous. All right, that's uh, this episode of Termite Talk done with Alan Ferguson from Concord Termites Northside. We'll speak to you next time. Thanks, John.